At 70, dew point is at 64, and temperatures across the board now in the lower 70s and upper 60s. Dew points uh, right behind it. So, dew points are in the 60s, one spot there in Monticello at 59. So, that drier air is coming in from the east, and that's going to continue to move in as we head towards the afternoon, which will halt rain chances around 1 or 2 o'clock. Temperatures will start out in the 70s, get on into the lower 80s thanks to the cloud cover, not getting much more than that. And then just looking at the radar right now, we do have some rain out there, two hour west approaching Atlanta, crossing LaGrange, Georgia, getting ready to cross Columbus if not already. And then here in central Georgia, we got some rain in southern Houston County, Peach County, a few showers just east of Fort Valley, just east of Roberta and Crawford County, and then moving through northern Forsyth right now in Monroe County, eventually moving through Bolingbroke and crossing I-75. Right now, though, Bibb County is looking dry. Zooming out, getting that bigger picture, as I've been mentioning this morning already, that wedge is in effect. The high pressure is just to our north and east. It's trying to bring that drier air, but the leading edge of that drier air is where all that moist air is like collecting. So all that moist air is collected in central Georgia. You saw that yesterday with the rain and cloud cover that's been overhead and you're seeing it this morning, but it is going to clear out as the final piece of that drier air really starts to make its way in. You can see that here as the rain moves eastward, the clouds start to dissipate. The rain goes away. That's that drier air coming in. But the difference is the reason that drier air is finally coming in is because you got high pressure moving out. Now that the high pressure is off the eastern coast, it's being pushed by the cold front. So the moist air is going to come back briefly as this cold front not only pushes the high pressure away, but also actually brings us drier air for a longer period of time. So this is early in the morning, 6 a.m. Sunday, cold front on our doorstep will be crossing through as we move through weekend morning, 8 a.m. still in our northern counties and then slowly making its way on through, bringing cloud cover, increasing humidity briefly, and then it's going to drop back down. And now it's just to our east. So luckily now, It'll continue eastward as we reach 6 p.m. because that's when it really starts to develop as it crosses that daytime heating time frame. And then by Monday, we are looking pretty good. Waking up in the morning dry, dew points low, temperatures down. That's not only Monday, that's going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. This is Saturday, dew points 2 p.m. Here's that cold front coming on through. This is 11 a.m. And then after that, you got drier air sleeping on through. And that's going to continue over us for quite some time. By quite some time, I mean through potentially Friday of this upcoming work week. High tomorrow, 84, 85 as we head into Monday. And then plenty of sunshine, majority of the work week. All right. Thanks, Jordan. We are halfway through September, but we're also at the beginning of a new month. Yesterday, September 15th marks the beginning of Hispanic.